Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm an interventional pain physician at Bloor Pain Specialists. Today, I will be addressing some common questions about epidural steroid injections. I've heard cortisone is bad for you. Is that true? Excellent question, and a really common one. Cortisone in itself actually hasn't been injected into anyone in North America in about 30 years. We just keep saying cortisone because everybody understands what cortisone means. Cortisone is a small molecule, though. It can fit into capillaries and wash throughout our body very easily. If you inject into a knee, it'll end up in your ear, your foot, your eye on the other side. And that's why it's not useful as an injection. When we inject medications in that same class as cortisone, corticosteroids, well, we inject large molecule cousins, powder-based cousins, that cannot fit into capillaries. They simply can't go away. They can't wash to another part of the body. And so they stay where we put them. And so that means the effect is local and the side effects are local. Now, cortisone does have side effects. That's absolutely true. And it's one of the big reasons why everyone has concerns about cortisone. It can change your metabolism. Blood sugars vary. It can change where fatty tissue is deposited. It can change our shape with that. It can cause water retention. People can gain weight. Diabetes can be affected. Kidney function can be affected. All kinds of organ systems can be affected with a molecule that spreads throughout the whole body. And that's why we use variants that don't spread at all, or at least very rarely so. Cortisone also has a very important effect on bone density. And that is true of the old cortisone that isn't used anymore and the cousins of cortisone that are used today. There was a great paper, a randomized control trial out of the Journal of the American Medical Association published on knee injections with triamcinolone versus saline. Triamcinolone is a very common injectable version of cortisone with large molecules. It is often used for shoulders and hand arthritis and knees and hips. But this trial showed that over the course of two years being injected every three months, there was more decay in the cartilage, the soft tissue, the connective tissue in the knee with the triamcinolone, the cortisone group, than there was in the saline group. And both groups had good blinding, meaning that patients didn't know what they were getting and physicians didn't know what they were giving. They were given blind syringes covered so they didn't know what was inside so that there was no bias. You couldn't alert somebody to say, aha, you're in this group, you're in that group, so their behavior changes. It's very well controlled so that the only real variable that was detectable was the difference of cortisone versus saline. If you have any general questions you'd like us to discuss, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to discuss anything specific about your care, please contact our clinic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.